Yeah, really, really successful. Um, it's fantastic to get back onto the international scene, having had two year out uh, due to COVID. Um, we didn't really know what we were going to get out there, where we were, had we managed to catch up or had we not. We went out there with expectations of hoping to get a 50% medal return and perhaps being disappointed if we didn't. Um, and on reflection, actually, we came back with seven, which was one shot, but when you look back in the history book, seven's the best we've ever done. We look back, peel it back a bit more, how many gold and silver were in, in them, and, and actually we managed to get into the final with five, which was the same amount of what had been achieved previously, but the best uh, gold was three and we did one better this time and managed to get four. So that was really, really nice to, to kind of see that. And we kept you know, the kids uh, aware of where we were with the medals. There's that bit, a little bit of extra incentive um, for them because they wanted to be part of the history of, of this trip. And we got uh, the mailbox with the tournament, which was fantastic. And we came second out of the rankings of all the countries, which again, when you peel it back and look at the context, uh, Ukraine come first with 25 boxes. We had 16. So our, our kind of slogan and motto of Quality over quantity definitely uh, comes through there of, of what we were able to achieve with such a small amount of boxes having been missing for two years. So there's a lot of positives for us to take away from that from England. Many learnings. We've had um, very little time to reflect, if I'm honest. Um, but after each of the boxes came out, we give them a day off, and then they got back on it. We started chatting to them about what they could have perhaps done a little bit better. We pulled that feedback out of them from a, a reflective practice perspective, and then we started training with them. So even though they were out of the competition, they weren't left there was still a focus on each of the individual 16 boxes so that they got the majority, the best out of the tournament and the experience that they possibly could. So each of them got trained um, on areas of development following their, you know, their unsuccessful uh, contest. Um, and all of them managed to stay focused because of that, I think, which was, which was tremendous. So each of them have left now with some development um, pointers. And the last thing I said to them is, it's up to them. You know, our philosophy is, in, is, is air and the eye is independence and they've got to take that ownership to get better. I'm definitely proud of the team and I told them that on the last day. I kind of keep my emotions intact really till the end because it's an emotional roller coaster. You've got to have a bit of emotional regulation to be able to contain that um, excitement or, or disappointment um, and to be able to give the next boxer your, your 100% again. So I kind of, I like to contain my emotion till the end and you know, I, I told them all I was significantly proud of them, how they've performed inside the ring, their attitude and behaviours outside the ring. Professionalism and performance equals results. That would probably sum it up nicely for me. And then results, whether they be medals, awards, or learning, I think has been a real, a real uh, good gem for us.